Alright guys, so let's talk about some Marvel Animation news. I am going to talk more about one because we have more information for that one than we do the other. Um, so yeah, we're going to talk a bit about the X-Men 97. Um, we're going to talk about X-Men 97 and the news for Spider-Man freshman year. So we got more news for freshman year than we did X-Men, but I'll talk about X-Men first. Now, it is officially a, con a continuation and they did reveal that they are... Um, they are doing uh, a. Um, they are having Magneto as the leader, like it hinted at the end of the of the series. So he'll also be wearing his. Uh, you know, Magneto will be wearing his. I really hate this costume. The costume he wore when he was leader of the X Men, when he had like the purple unitard and like the weird cape cloak thing and the giant stupid M on his chest. I hate that costume. I hate that costume for Magneto. I, I get that he's supposed to be like all like I'm free. I am I am no threat to you. I'm no I'm not wearing a helmet. But no no, it just looks dumb. It does. It looks dumb, Eric. Um. So. That's, that's, um, we also get, uh, we get to look at X-Force, we get to see X-Force, and Nightcrawler looks like he's gonna be part of that team, which is cool. I'm just wondering who they're gonna have to cast, because we have sadly lost several voice actors. It is cool that we're getting Carl Dodd back, and, um, uh, Zahn, she's coming back, which I thought that wasn't gonna happen, you know, she was the voice actor, for, voice actress for Rogue, and also for all the Stormhawk fans, that, she was Master Cyclonus. So, I think it is kinda cool that she that she's coming back i was just like i did you get voted out because you were a member of of uh, a parliament in you were part of the government in canada are, 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 are you did you get voted out or do you just have no like is that you know there's nothing to do in canada i don't know so yeah I, I just think this is really cool. It's really cool to... And Carl... Like I said, Carl Dodd's coming back as Wolverine. How fucking cool is that? Like, you can't tell me how that's not cool, right? Like, you just cannot tell me that's not cool. Um... <clears throat> so, yeah. I'm all excited for it. But I'm also having my interest sparked for Spider-Man freshman year. I was kind of ambivalent to another Spider-Man cartoon because... <sighs> We haven't had a good Spider-Man cartoon since Spectacular Spider-Man. I know, I know. That's such a generic, ba a basic thing to say, but it's true. Like, I hate being sounding like this guy of like, oh, we haven't had a good Spider-Man cartoon since uh, since Spectacular Spider-Man. Well, it's really hard to top Greg Weissman first, uh, first and foremost. Secondly, yeah, that statement's kind of true because Ultimate Spider-Man and the recent Spider-Man cartoon really sucked. It really, they were really bad. And you could say, and I've heard people say, oh, Ultimate Spider-Man got better in the later seasons. It should have been good from the beginning. Yeah. Ugh, I, sound, I look like such an elitist doing the whole adjust the glasses. Ugh. I didn't mean to do that. I did that subconsciously. I'm sorry. Um, but this one has a lot of hope. But I am, I do, I do have interest in this with trepidation. First and foremost, Charlie Cox is, um... Charlie Cox is coming back as as Daredevil. He's going to voice Daredevil in the in the cartoon. That's so cool. Um, it's more proof that they want him back and fans want him back as Daredevil. He is Matt Murdock now. So I think that's... I, I was like, huh? He's... He, who? He's voicing who now? And he's coming back for what? Okay. Also, is it just me or does... Um, Norman looks like straight up, he straight up looks like Giancarlo Esposito. Like, no lie, he straight up, like, the dude straight up uh, looks like Giancarlo Esposito. It, yeah, Norman, like, look at an image and just be like, just give him some corn rolls and he's, it, and it, like, it, like, just, uh, like, yeah, you can almost hear um, Norman going, you, uh, I have, I get my superpowers through money. You get it through an accident. We are not the same. <laughs> Like, like, I almost imagine this version of Norman doing that. Um, we are going to get Doctor Strange and a Hulk, and we're also going to have Amadeus Cho in the show, too. And what shocked me, and what the other thing that got my attention was, we're getting um, Nico, Miss Sister Grimm from The Runaways. I love The Runaways, and she's one of my favorite characters in the, in the probably my favorite character in the comics. And she's going to be Spider-Man's best friend. 
Which, on one hand, I'm like, that's cool, but, like, on the other hand, I'm like, great, I can't wait for the shipping wars to start. I literally am already predicting there's going to be, like, shipping wars between Peter and Nico, and Peter with either, I think they said Gwen is in the show, or MJ. I think Gwen or M Gwen and or MJ are in the show, so. Or you can just do a f harem fanfiction, I know that's going to happen, too. <laughs> But yeah, I can't wait for the shipping wars in this con in this universe of Peter and Nico and uh, Pete Co. I'm already imagining the uh, shipping names already. You're welcome, everybody. Um, but yeah, I'm already li like I'm already bracing myself for that. Um, the animation style looks cool. It's very Steve Ditko, Jack Kirby kind of fun, kitschy artwork. Um, I do know it's concept art, and this show isn't coming till 2024, so the animation department may, you know, change up some stuff. But it is really, like, I do like it. Um, I do really like, um, the style for it. I like how, um, the Spider-Man costume, I'm like, it's gonna, t I don't hate it. I don't hate the, the, the young Spider-Man costume in here. I really don't. It, um... It's just, it, it feels like something bothers me about it, like... I think the street level look is kind of cool, but at the same time, I hate that the web shooters have, like, tank, like, CO2 tanks, and it's, like, connected to a cord on his back. So, I'm either imagining that's gonna drop, get dropped very soon, because this is, like, New Age Spider-Man, when he's, you know, Peter's, you know, testing out web shooters, or they're gonna have a bunch of gags of his line getting caught or snapped or something with that, which would not shock me in, um, in the, in the least. Um... But that's what I, I like. It's just the cord in the back. It just looks so impractical. Like eh. the costume, like it doesn't look bad. It's it might grow on me. It is cool to have Octavius as a main villain because Octavius is my favorite Spider-Man villain, of course. And we got a, announcements for villains. We have we're gonna have Scorpion. We're gonna have Rhino. And another one who shocked me is gonna be a big villain in here is the Tarantula. Apparently, the Tarantula is gonna be a big villain. Now, for those who are not in the know of your who who are not like big Marvel savvy or whatever, um, the Tarantula is an early Spider-Man villain who was more like a um, South American mercenary who had like the who had like above average like agility and whatnot, and he had like boots that were um, had blades on them and were poison tipped. He actually could get the drop on Spider-Man a few times. He has, like, there have been several people who have taken on the moniker of the Tarantula, but they're all relegated to just D-list, really. So it is going to be cool to see the Tarantula, like, the, I love the idea of the Tarantula being in an early age of Spider-Man. Of course you'd introduce some of his earlier villains. I really hope we get to see, like, other villains in here. I, would, I wouldn't I would be opposed to them bringing in, like, um, like Man, Mar uh, Man Mountain Marco or... Or, like, some of the other obscure ones. Like, I'd love to see the Gibbon or Grizzly or White Rabbit. Like, just have fun with it. Like, that's what I really want from this show is to have fun. And I'm already liking what I see, but, like, I'm... Like, I've been hurt before, Marvel. Like, you hurt me before. I don't I don't want to be hurt no more by, another, by having another Spider-Man cartoon stab me in the back after how good Spectacular was. So don't... So to quote Clint, don't give me hope. But, yeah. So, I leave it up to you guys. What do you guys think of X-Men 97 and uh, all the news we got for Spy... Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention um, uh, Moon Girl. We didn't get much. We just got a clip, and I already love it. Like, I love just the high energy of it. It's very much like uh, Star vs. and the Ghost in Molly McGee. I love those shows. Well, I like the first two seasons of Star, let me clarify. <laughs> but, yeah, um, that looks cute. I'm going to give that one a shot, too. Um, but yeah, you guys tell me in the comments below, what did you guys think of the, you know, st a shot for, uh, Moon Girl? What did you think of X-Men 97 news? And, of course, above all else, what did you think of Spider-Man freshman year news? Just comment below, let me know. Um, other than that, I'm Mr. Multiverse, I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.